Hi, and welcome to the House of Keys. Today I'm breaking down Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive. This song employs eight chords that make up a single chord progression that's used over the verse and the chorus. With these chords, you can accompany a singer or play along with a band. The first verse is sort of rubato, just sort of big block chords. The rest of the song, verses and choruses, employs a little rhythm, which I'll show you in a little bit. Let's go take a look. Starting in the left hand, we'll play the root notes for each chord. The first root note is A, followed by D, followed by G, followed by C, F, B, E, and then again E. That's the entire chord progression. Once again, a little slower. There are also eight chords in the right hand. The first chord is an A minor chord. The notes for this chord are A, C, and E. Well, we're gonna put this chord in inversion, meaning the bottom note is gonna go on the top. So this bottom A goes on the top here to get an A minor chord in inversion. C, E, and A. That's the first chord. The next chord is a D minor chord. D, F, and A. Following that, the third chord is a G chord also an inversion. The notes for a G chord are G, B, D. Here we're taking the G and putting it on top. B, D, G. The fourth chord is a C major chord, C, E, G. Following that we have an F chord, also an inversion. The notes for F chord are F, A, C, but again we're taking the bottom note and putting it on top. So the notes for this chord are going to be A, C, and F. Then we have a B minor 7 flat 5. This is a four note chord where the notes are B, D, F, and A. The seventh chord is an E7 sus chord, also a four note chord in inversion. So usually the notes for this chord would be E, A, B, D, but here we're taking an inversion, putting B on the bottom, following it with D, E, and A on top, and the final chord of the chord progression is an E7 chord. To get to this chord, very simple. Take your top note, A, and resolve it down a half step to G sharp. And there you have an E7 chord. B, D, E, G sharp. Here's the progression in the right hand, played slowly. As I mentioned earlier, the very first verse of the song has a rubato feel, meaning the chords are long and held out, sort of in a dramatic fashion. Holding out these chords will give you that effect. For the rest of the verses and choruses, putting a little rhythm helps move the song along. One, two, three, four. If you find it tricky to play the right hand and the left hand simultaneously, practice just the right hand by itself, and then play the left hand by itself, only the root notes. Get the sound of those root notes in your head, and that will help you navigate this chord progression. Remember, practice slowly with intention. Thanks for watching this episode of House of Keys, and good luck.